say everybody continuing with the uh, paint tutorial that everybody liked so far. I'll show you some of the tools how I paint a Tennessee Southern locomotive or any locomotive for that. Uh, so tools you need, tools you need. Everything's about tools, right? Need a square, small one, straight edge. Uh, I prefer to use a 187 scale rule in case I need to measure something out. Exacto blade, fresh blade on it. Your preference of tweezers. I like the curve. Um, I did buy these guys at a recent train show. I've never used them yet, so I'm going to give them a whirl. Number two pencil or mechanical pencil. That way it keeps a sharp edge. Burnishers, you can buy these uh, at Walmart or any craft store. I typically use the one with uh, the small ball on it. Regular 3M blue masking tape. Tamaya masking tape. And you're probably asking why two tapes? Well, one, I use this to gain nice crisp lines and it's easier to work with. This takes the brunt of it when I sheet the paint. So, Freelancers. I use my own set of templates for the Rocky Top scheme. Uh, I've got templates for Southern Railway schemes. Uh, pretty much templates for all engines. Always keep a fresh, clean cutting mat. Keep that handy. So, 4027 is the goal for this guy to look like it. Um, I've got a generic picture frame that just pops in and out of the frame. And the reason why you want to use the glass, you take the blue 3M tape, place it on the glass, work it in, get all the bubbles out of it. Cut it off at the edges, that way you got a nice square. Line your straight edge up on the end, and with your sharp X-Acto blade, that'll give you a nice sharp line when you cut the tape. Because if you look at masking tape, any that you buy at the store, you can have a uh, dirt particles on it, fuzz, dust, whatever, and it's always a little wavy. So with this, you got a clean cut edge, and normally I cut strips in three foot HO scale wet width. <clears throat> so the templates where they fall into play at, I'm going to put this template here that way, if you notice all the Tennessee Southern units, whether GE, EMD, or any other type of manufacturer, we all have the same angle right here. So, you can see here, I drew the template out on the tape, and I used, here I'll just do one. You got one drawn out. You take your angle, the 
key is to make sure you use a sharp exacto blade. So because I have to wrap this tape around the back side of it to make life easier for myself. And it's easier to line it up. And I start here at the corner, just cut into. And then I would make a cut here. <clears throat> Peel that off with a pair of tweezers. Place it on our locomotive. Now you want to make sure that you wash your hands in Dawn dish detergent before you handle your models very well to get all the oil and crap off your hands. Or you can use a glove. Personally, I can't feel what I'm doing with a glove on. So, I line up my marks on a Tennessee Southern unit. The line goes right behind the radiator grills on all units, even GE. I come out to the third door. That's where the corner of the angle starts, and I go from there. Now, like this, where the tape came up, and the dynamic brake doesn't come off this, I had to slowly work this in like so. Can work that in, then easily fold that up. You want to make sure your line's straight. So if you look at that, you still got a straight angle. So I was a little over what I normally at with the line on top so with the sharp exacto I kind of just kind of scored into the tape and was able to peel that off so then I take my Tamiya tape do the edge lines the yellow tape's great for edging I'll try to get that in there I've just got this setting on there so I get in here and you really want to work this in. You don't have to like press extremely hard, but you want to make sure your paint when you shoot it doesn't get up under there. Now like on this edge, because it's curved, the ball, you're going to be all over the place knocking paint off or whatever. I kind of take the edge and score it like that. Now regular blue tape since I got a nice cut line I don't bother going over the yellow and on the bottom is where my template comes in <clears throat> measure up from the bottom because on a Kato this right here is going to be the walkway so it's two and a quarter foot from the bottom to the tape that's the top of the black line that you see here on the unit then I overlap that with a white stripe after. So we get that guy going there and I go through, I line this up and I make me a little mark with my number two pencil on the model. Usually somewhere conspicuous like in between the main doors groups. So in the door groups I just make a little mark there, a mark there that way it kind of gives me a little guide. Same thing on the nose and on this end. So I will finish masking the nose off, which I use the Tamiya tape for. And anything else, I overlap in small sections. Like you don't take a whole sheet of blue, just pop it on there. Here's an example. You don't have to cut your tape like I've, I've seen some videos where people get on there. Well, uh, you know, I cut three square HO scale feet to like do all this general masking. You don't gotta do that crap. Get out of here. It'll take you all day. 
time is valuable. So I will take that. kind of overlap. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see how overlap that there? That way I don't get any bleed through. Then I'll take a smaller piece and overlap from the Tamiya to that. So, And then uh, we move on to shooting paint after that. We get everything worked in those little crevices. And uh, that'll be another part of the tutorial. So, hopefully, this helps everybody with masking and uh, measure your stuff out if you got a complicated paint job. Uh, typically, like a Tennessee Southern unit, there's a lot of angles, a lot of lines in it, and it's kind of a complex paint job. Um, Typically, probably take me about 90 minutes to mask one off when I first started. Uh, now it takes me probably about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the unit. Um, Kato, pretty pretty easy to work with. Uh, the unibody frame and every, all that, and the cab comes off. Uh, whenever I paint the 70ACC, that's going to be a little bit of a pain because I had to glue the cab to the frame so anywho uh thanks for uh tuning into my channel i appreciate all the comments uh the personal messages uh from my tennessee southern model railroad group um let me know if there's any other uh questions on masking leave them in the comments i'll do my best to answer uh stay tuned let me know if any other ideas you're curious about the model railroad uh, as a whole, the Tennessee Southern or whatever, maybe I can help you out and uh, answer some questions. So, hope this helps. Remember, life is orange. I'll see you on the next video.